all my wonderful, awesomely awesome, beautiful people of the Most High God. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How are we all doing today, guys? I'm bringing you greetings, and it's in the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Let the peace of my Father, the peace that surpasses every human understanding, be a portion and my portion in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. To all my returning amazing subscribers, you guys are just the best. What could I have done without you? Without you, there is no us. And that is the truth. And to everyone that has not subscribed to this channel and you do come across us on YouTube, can you please hit the red subscription button and the notification bell so you get notified when we do upload new videos. I am Juliana of this Juliana TV. In this channel, we talk about God, charity, love, life, relationships, and all health-related matters. So guys, hop on board, join us, and let's do this. Guys, today I bring us our daily nuggets, and I'm going to read from the book of Luke 6.35. And it says, But love your enemies, do good to them, and lend to them without expecting to get anything back. Then your reward will be great, and you will be children of the Most High. He is kind to all. Child of God, the Father is telling us here that our love should know no boundaries. Yes. That we should not just love because somebody loves us, then we love them back. We should not just love our family members. We should not just love people that we, 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 we are very fond of, people that we care about. No. It says that you should love your enemies. Those people that have decided that they don't want you. Those people that have decided and just declared themselves to be your enemies for no reason. The Bible says that you should just love them. Regardless of how they feel about you, regardless of the fact that they don't care about you, regardless of the fact that everything you do, they don't care, it repels them. The Bible says just love them. You have to love all as you love yourself. That is what this Bible is trying to tell us. That when you give to people that you should give without expecting anything back in return. You know, human nature will have a tendency of giving and we just hope and wait that whoever we have given to will somehow pay us back for the things that we have done for them. Yeah. So we say one good turn deserves another, that if you do for me, then I have a tendency to kind of give you back and pay you back, whether in good way or bad way. So that is what the Bible is trying to tell us, that we shouldn't do that, that we should give to everybody without expecting anything back in return. But that doesn't mean that if somebody rewards you for something that you did, or if somebody rewards you because you feel like it, you should reject it or anything. But it says do not do it. Do not do good because you want people to recognize you. Do not do good because you want people to pay you back. No, you do it because that is what the Father has asked me and you to do. Because when you do that, when you give without expecting anything in return when you love your enemies as the father has commanded then he says that your reward will be great and then you will be children of the most high god because he is grateful but to them he is he is faithful he loves us he loves all of us yes his love extends both to the people that are grateful and those that are ungrateful for all that he has done for us that he, his love does not have any limit. He doesn't say, oh, because you did this, no. Mm -mm. No, because you served me more, I will love you more. No, that's not what the love of God is all about. The Bible tells us that he loves all of us equally. All son and sundry, the father loves. We are all the children of the Most High God. And in that same capacity, in that same way, he wants us to love others as ourselves. He wants us to care for everybody as ourselves, child of the Most High God. That even when people are not doing you right, even when they're not treating you right, that you should be able to love them. That even when you give and give and give your all and it does not seem like they really care, does not seem like they really appreciate it, that you need to just keep going and doing what you're doing because you're looking at your father for the reward and not at man. Because him alone that is God will reward you and he says that your reward will be great. 
that you will be the children of the Most High God. What else are we looking for, child of God? That in this market of life, all we care about is to please our Father, to do the things that will, that will please the God of heaven and earth, the one that created us in his own image and likeness. So let us learn to love. It's so hard, you know, when, when you do something for somebody, it's so hard for you to sit down there and they don't recognize it. It's so hard when you sit down there and you find out that they don't appreciate it. It's so hard to, to keep going and, and, and to keep trying to help them or trying to do for them as human nature. But if we go by the spiritual nature that the Father has given to us, if we go by the laws and the principles that he has set for us to follow, child of God, he says regardless of how they receive us, that we should keep doing what we are doing to please his name because all that we're looking at is that reward that will come from heaven and not the reward of men all right so i'm praying to the father of heaven to give us a change of heart i'm praying to the father of heaven to empower us to give us the grace because we cannot do these things by ourselves by grace by strength shall no man prevail we still need his grace and his and his mercy because it's hard for you to be doing for somebody and they don't to recognize it it's really hard for you to keep going with child of god that is the truth but it's only by his grace it's only by his mercy that him alone that is god will help us to keep doing what he has asked us to do and to keep living the way that he has asked us to live as we wait for the blessings that will come from him because we know when he says it he will do it we know he does not lie and when he said he will bless you for loving your enemies, that's exactly what he will do. Because he's the one that sees the heart of men. He's the only one that reads our heart. So he already knows what's in it. He already knows our intention. He already knows that what we are doing is right or wrong. He already knows that we are trying or if we are not trying to help others. Him alone that is God knows all these things, child of God. So let us endeavor to do right, regardless of how people perceive it, regardless of how people see us, let us keep going so that him that is God will bless us and may his blessings never leave you, child of God. In the name of Jesus, let the heavens open, I pray, and pour our blessings upon us in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, love God, serve God, bless humanity. This is the season of love, the season of giving. That is what the Father has asked us to do now. Love is caring, love is sharing, love is giving. Yes, love is checking up on your neighbor or that family member or that stranger to make sure they are okay, to make sure that they ate, to make sure that they have shelter over their head. That is what love is, the love of Christ, that agape love of our Father, yes. That is what the Father is telling us, okay? And may he reward us. Yes, he said, he that gives to the poor is the one that he will reward. So may he reward us, may he reward us, and we, may we never lack in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Yes, child of God, love God, serve God, bless humanity. Faith, hope, and love, the greatest of them all is love. Yes, for love covers a multitude of sin. So may Jehovah bless you as you continue to do right by him. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes. Stay protected, stay covered under the shadow of his wings. Love yourself and love others. I, Juliana, I'm signing out. Right this very moment. And I'll see you at my next upload. Do have for yourself a beautiful day. Bye-bye.